Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry and for today's video I'm going to be sharing this kawaii Japanese shopping haul. All of the items that I'm going to be showing today were purchased from a personal shopper in Japan. Stay for the end of the video for more details about that and how you can purchase these items. So again, I'm going to be sharing a size 4 DHL box full of goodies. So I'm going to put this aside and then we'll go ahead and start pulling items out one by one. Before that, I'm just going to open up the box in front of you guys so you guys can see how much items Lady and Misaki were able to fit in the box. They're really awesome and they always um, pack the box really full and fit lots of nice things for us. So as you can see, the item is packed full, like all the way full with things. I really appreciate that about them they always go out of their way to make sure that everything is packaged really nicely and that you fit as they fit as much as they can into one box so let's go ahead and check out what's inside all right so first items that i want to share from the box are these sticker sheets um before we move on i do want to mention that all of or most of no i'm pretty sure all of the items from this haul are from the rilakkuma or sonics Rilakkuma Baby um, release that was released in Japan last month, I believe. So if you know me, you know that I'm a huge Rilakkuma fan. I have like over a hundred Rilakkuma plushies. I like collect everything Rilakkuma and Kurilakkuma. I really love them. So when this series came out, I had to get it or came out. Sorry, when this series came out, I had to get it because I love Rilakkuma. I love baby things. So I got, I think most of the items, there's probably one or two items that I didn't want to get. So We'll start with the sticker sheets from the release. This one is a really pretty blue sticker sheet and it's so cute. I do want to mention that down here at the bottom, they put a cutout window so that you can see what kind of sticker it is. And you can see that they're kind of like semi-transparent. They kind of resemble masking tape. So when they're um, placed on a solid color background, they'll pop more, but this is just letting you know that they're kind of see-through, semi-transparent. So this one has like the cutest little designs. I love the little bunny background. Like I love all the um, work that they put into the background of their sticker sheets. Look at the big bottle. They put like a lot of um, work into that. And that's one of the reasons why I love these sticker sheets and collect them. Um, if you haven't yet, you should check out my sticker collection. I have this like ginormous sticker collection and I have a couple videos on it. So you can see more vintage and older themes of um, Rilakkuma and Sanrio stickers. So anyway, moving on, we have the cute little rocking horses, little blocks, little like, it's like bunny baby theme. So they're like babies with little diapers and bibs and such, and then little bunny like um, costume. And I think that's so cute. We have Rilakkuma, Kurilakkuma, Koguma-chan, and Kiroitori. And I just, oh, this is so cute. The baby bottle, a little like pacifier thing. These are so cute. And then here it is compared to the pink one. Again, same like semi-transparent um, look and feel to them. They're so cute. They're like crawling down here. Baby blocks. So, so cute. Curatory is so cute as the like little blue bunny. And then, oh my god, these blocks are so cute. The R and the K. Those are probably one of my favorite ones. So those are these two sheets. And then they also came out with like a puffy sticker sheet. So if you can see from the sides, these are kind of popped up and soft and fluffy they are not like see-through-ish or masking tape or flat like the other sticker sheets and these are so beautiful as well we have some with different like background colors and oh it's so cute again i love the little blocks this is so cute it's like really kuma climbing up on a block this little like bassinet is the cutest thing look at his little butt oh, i love curatory here and i like the little like bonnet and everything these are really beautiful. Again, I love the background sheet. See how it's like holographic and gradient. They put a lot of work into that. I really love that. Came out great. So here's really quickly, just a comparison of the three together. Moving on to the next items in the box. Next two items are these large memo pads. I believe they had a couple of small memo pad options, but I didn't see those when I was ordering, so I didn't get those, but I will be on the lookout for them. These are the two different large memo pad designs. They have the like really pretty iridescent effect at the top. I also collect memo pads if anyone wants to see my weird memo pad collection. But anyway, I got these for my collection, so this is the first one has this really cute like white cover with like a frame and they're all in there and i love this like you can feel it i don't know if you can see but there's like texture to it 
It's so cute, like a little like baby mobile. A little book, his little teddy bear, and they're playing with Kiratori's ear. He's playing. They're just so cute. And it says, hmm, Mina the Usa Usa baby. I'm not sure what that means. I know Usagi means bunny, so maybe. I'm not sure. So, Usa Usa baby. And then if you open it up, these don't have a sticker sheet in the front. Some of the Sanrio ones will have like a sticker sheet in the front, but um, these newer newer Son X ones don't. Only the older old. Um, pa large memo pads have a sticker sheet in the front. If you want to see what I'm talking about, I can show you with older memo pads. So this one has, I believe, what, three or four designs in it? Here's one design. It's like a grid, and I like that so that you can write, make sure you're writing straight and stuff. And it has these cute little graphics all over it. Here is another. It's so cute. This one's got like a minty look. It matches my nails. Then we've got this one that looks just like the front. And then back to the first. So beautiful, so cute. Now the second memo pad has like a baby pink border. This one's really, really cute too. Let's go ahead and look at the design center inside. Here's a look at the back, it has the big baby bottle. All right, inside we have, oh my gosh, this one is so cute, so pink. Then we have, I believe it's four per um, memo pad. Then we have this other pink one, so cute. This is the third design. It seems like they're going with a really pink theme for this memo pad. So if you like pink, I would go with this one. This is so cute. Pink, purple, yellow, just oh, it's so beautiful and so adorable. It's like soft rainbow colors. And then the last sheet, which would be the first, <laughs> is the big baby bottle and you can write in the baby bottle look how cute i love them all laid on top of this bunny plush that's adorable so here's both memo pads i think i like this one most personally let me know in the comments which pad you like the most all right next item is the rilakkuma plush so um from the series they'll usually release like um, mascot plushes which are keychain plushes then these um, regular or small size plushies and then sometimes they'll have a medium plush so here i got two of the three um small plushies they had i got rilakkuma and karilakkuma i didn't get koguma chan this time he's really cute he's a little bit of like um a warmer chocolatey brown bear with uh like a minty diaper and he was really cute but i have such a huge collection i'm trying to keep it like sm as small as i can or or try to stop it from growing so much so i had to get these but i'm trying to be a little more picky now and not just buy everything from every release so these are so cute they're like crawling and they have their little diaper covers and on their little butts they have he has a little yellow bear and she has cute little usagi pink rabbit their little bushy tails come out and they both have a little bib tied on i'm not sure what hers has on it maybe one of you guys know and you can tell me not quite sure but it's cute and it's got a little frilly lace on it here's a little bear paw pads and then right here his has a little um pancake so cute um here's the little sauna x um tag it's so cute it's like a rainbow with uh little stars on it i love that detail and then up here rilakkuma has like a little white bunny clipped in his ear and karilakkuma has like a little pink strawberry so cute so precious and then let's look at their tags because tags are one of my favorite parts of Sonic's plushies. They make like the cutest tags to match. So here's Karila Kuma's. It has a little bunny. It has the price 2,000 yen, which is about $20, I believe, translates to. Here's a little inside of the tag. I wish I could read Japanese. I'm going to try to use my phone later to um, translate. But look how cute. It usually has like a cute little story inside. But I love the graphic and I love that it's like shaped like a baby bottle. Here's Rilakkuma's. So adorable. Same graphic inside, I believe. So cute. So, yeah. I love these. I love the details they put into these and I'm so happy that I got these. Alright, so the next item that I want to share is the mascot from the series. So this is the mascot or keychain. There were two keychain mascots. 
Um, but like I said, I'm trying to be a little more picky with my um, plush purchases. So there was this one, and then there was one of the little white bunny that you're going to see a lot throughout this series. And I decided to um, just get Rilakkuma because he's what I mostly collect. The bunny was really cute, but I'm trying to save room, you know, I'm running out of room. But um, this one is just like so beautiful and so detailed. So it's Rilakkuma. Unfortunately, there wasn't a Kurilakuma. I really wish there would have been, but this is good. He has a cute little yellow diaper. You can see his little booty in the back. And of course they put his zipper. He always has to have his zipper. And then you see he has this cute little bib with a little frilly and this cute little bow. And he has a little Usagi yellow bunny hat. And he is so soft. The little ears are so cute. And here is his clasp. He has this really beautiful metal um, chain. Usually the mascots will have like a ball chain, a simple ball chain, but this one's like a lot fancier and nicer. It's very thick and you can tell it's a good quality. It's not going to rip on you easily. There's like a coiled jump ring there, um, the clasp, so that if you wanted to put this on your bag, you would just unclasp it, Ooh. put your put it through your bag, and then clasp it again so it can hang on any purse or any bag that you have. I really appreciate that. You can also just hang it on your wall like this, hang it on a grid, or whatever you wanted to put it on, or just simply display it like so and put this in the back. It also has this adorable little charm hanging from the chain. It's a little um, baby bottle with a little pink Rilakkuma head on it, silhouette, and a little purple top. So beautiful, so cute. Love this, it's probably my favorite <laughs> thing so far. All right, next thing that I really wanna share with you guys are these really cute ones. I don't usually see the, anything like this in um, Rilakkuma Sonic's releases, so this was really cute to see. They're these tiny little itty bitty plushes, and I didn't realize how tiny they were gonna be until they got here. But here's the little rabbit that I was mentioning earlier. Remember I said there was another keychain mascot like this size with the chain? It was of this little bunny, and it was so cute. I'll try to post up a picture somewhere around here for you guys to see. But yeah, I didn't get that one, but I got this tiny one. So cute, look at the little fluffy tail, beautiful little bunny with a bib. And then the second one is a little Rilakkuma, like wrapped up in a little swaddle blanket with a little lace on it. He has a little bow and his little hand is sticking out. You know babies when you swaddle them, their little hand still wants to stick out. So there he is. Here's the little tag. He is so cute. There's like a little passy. A little toy, little Rilakkuma um, crawling. And then here's a Kurilakkuma version of the small one. She has her cute little onesie, her little pink Usagi ears, her signature button, a little bib that ties around with a little blue bow. So cute. And here's her tag. Has the same little toy with a little bottle. I think that's the little bottle that's attached to Rilakkuma there. And then she's crawling, so cute. I don't think we saw the um, bunny's tag. So here's the bunny's tag. It's this cute little rainbow looking tag with him on it. So adorable. And look at them together. You can like fit all three in your hand almost. Adorable little babies. Love this. I wish they would do more small little plushies like these in future collections. I'm thinking of like sewing a little o-ring here so that i can use it like a charm and like put it on my switch or hang it on my phone that would be so cute maybe i'll get a second set to do that with next item that i want to share is in this cute rilakkuma store bag it's so cute i guess she kept it in the bag that um they gave her at the rilakkuma store and i appreciate that because it's a cute little bag and um i would want it i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but i want it i'm gonna keep it so cute so let's go ahead and open this up they even have their own Rilakkuma store tape. That's so cute. So here are the two items. These are rubber straps. And I don't usually see these in Rilakkuma releases either. So I'm really glad they made these. They're like a glittery, kind of like semi-transparent. This one is a baby bottle with Kurilakuma in it. And little clouds and stars and a moon. A little bow. little lace. That is so cute. I love all the detail in this. This one is Rilakkuma and he's riding on a cute pastel rocking horse and he has his little bunny outfit and these are just so detailed, so nicely made. That's something that I really appreciate and love about Sonics. They put so much detail into their items. Now both of them are have a gold clasp and a gold key ring and then a little gold charm on them. Hers has, I'm going to put this down for a second. 
hers has this cute bunny charm that same little bunny that we've been seeing with his little bib and i think that goes with it so well this is how you can hang it and then the charm is like the charm sorry the tag is this cute like carrot with Krilakum on there it was a thousand two hundred so around twelve dollars and again the prices on here are how much it would cost in japan that's why it's in japanese yen because it was from a store in japan um so when you're gonna buy these items from a third party please note that of course they're going to put their charge on there for purchasing the item for you so you wouldn't pay exactly 12 you would pay the the um shopping fee plus the um conversion fee for the from yen to dollar so yeah let's look at this one i believe this one has the this rilakuma one it has the same little bunny charm on there and then the um, tag is similar. It's the carrot, but this time really come cool with a little bunny headband. And these are just so cute. I can't get over them. They're beautiful. All right, so the next item I want to share is an item I'm super excited about. I was most excited for this one. And it's this huge big boy. Oh my gosh, he doesn't even fit in the... I'm going to have to um, change the camera angle to show you more details of him. But this is him. He's a size medium Rila Kuma plushie. He is so cute and so soft. Here's his little booty. He has that same Rilakkuma um, silhouette patch on his booty. And he's wearing the little yellow onesie. And he has like a blue um, bib with a little bow. It ties up at the back. And it's got the little bunny with the carrots and the cute little frilly lace. And here he has a little toy that you can take on and off. A little rattle toy. And that's why you see this plastic here. It's to make sure that the toy stays with it so that it doesn't get lost in the store. I think that's so cute. I love that little rainbow tag. And here's the paper tag. I'll give you a closer look. Oh, so cute. Oh, it's letting you know that I think I um, can't read that, obviously. But I believe it's letting you know that the um, toy and the bib are removable. I love the little baby bottle tag they've been using for this series. It is just too cute. It's to die for. His little feet fold like that so that he can sit really cute and comfortable on your bed or your desk or a shelf or whatever you want to put him. This is so high quality, so soft and beautiful. This is like really, um, how would I explain it, like cuddleable. Like it's, it feels like material that's super soft and cuddly. And of course he has the beans in his butt so he sits good. And then they put this little patch of hair at the top. I've never seen that on a really Kuma plush but honestly it's cute. I like it. All right, so last thing in the box is a bunch of cute sweets. Lady and Misaki are so sweet. Every time I shop with them, they send a bunch of cute sweets. This one is honey and butter chips. Like, look at that. I love potato chips. Everybody knows that I just, I'm a potato chip kind of girl. And these are thin potatoes with honey and butter flavor. They look so delicious. I can't wait to try these. Next snack is these. I've never seen these or tried these. I believe it says gold ball and it looks like maybe like a custard creme brulee type of filling let me feel oh they feel hard i wonder if it's like a like a candy like a hard candy i don't know they're so cute and i can't wait to try this if you've tried it let me know what's this say sweet potato oh meiji brand this brand has like the best chocolates and stuff Next item is this Kit Kat item. In Japan, they make honestly the coolest and best Kit Kat items. That's one cool thing about going to Japan is going to the um, markets and checking out all the different Kit Kats they have. I'm not sure what flavor this is, but the graphic on here is really cool. Next item is this item and it looks like little like sticks kind of like, hmm. Wonderful blend of chocolate and delicious ingredients that you can enjoy for a limited time only. Four sticks per pack and 11 packs. They look so good. They look like those little like biscottis and stuff that you have with coffee. Oh, they look good. I can't wait to try these. Next item is this really cute like pineapple treat. It looks kind of like a like Starburst or Haichu. It looks like it has little chunks inside too. Ooh, this looks yummy and i actually love pineapple i don't know if you guys knew that about me but i love pineapples all right and then the last snack they sent me is this really cute snack i think it's like a gummy snack or something oh it says right kind of shows right there Ooh, that looks interesting 20 of them and it's um 
this one there's two of this kind in here wait is that like i don't think that's edible i think that's supposed to be like a prize or something so cute i think they're like gum or haichu or something i'm gonna have to open these to check out even though i don't really want to open them because they're demon slayer i love demon slayer this is one of my favorite animes ever so thank you so much lady and misaki you guys are amazing i love you guys and then of course they sent this cute note they're so sweet love you lady and misaki you guys are the best all right so before i go i know you guys are gonna have a lot of questions about where did i <laughs> where did i get these how much did i pay how can you get them like the number one question in all of my haul videos is always where did you buy that where did you buy that so i'm gonna explain it in the video like usual if you guys see anybody commenting that try to help them out um all right so anyway all of these items were purchased from characters unlimited jp on instagram and i have posted a how to shop with them before i'll link that below it's a detailed step-by-step -step video on exactly how to shop with them what their prices are um a breakdown of everything so if you want that please check out that video and yeah but i did want to mention if you guys watch that video and you do end up wanting to shop with lady and masaki which are a wonderful wonderful third-party shopper in japan please be respectful please pay your bills on time please do not request an item if you don't have the money up front and you're ready to pay because a lot of people will request their service send them out to the store they go to the store they wait for your item they get your item they pay with their own money they bring it home they they organize everything they pack it up for you and then sometimes people will just back out and not pay them and and that's honestly not fair so please make sure that you have the money for the items that you want to buy and that you've calculated everything before you um message them and have them shop for you please have some respect for them because they're really caring really sweet amazing um women and i just want to make sure that you guys are treating them right because i know a lot of you are gonna head over there after this so I think that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and comment what your favorite item was. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one, Kitty and Jerry.